Today we're going to be talking about integration by parts, a technique for anti-differentiation. You should use integration by parts when you're trying to find the antiderivative of a function of the form x raised to some positive power times something that you know how to anti-differentiate. The formula is pretty simple. It says that the antiderivative with respect to x of some function times the derivative of another function equals f times g minus the antiderivative with respect to x of f prime g. So integration by parts is an example of a transformation type equality. We're transforming one antiderivative into a problem involving another antiderivative. Now, when you're dealing with x raised to a power times something that you know how to anti-differentiate, the x raised to the power part should become your f, and everything else in your expression should become your g. So let's try integration by parts on an example. Here, we're trying to find the antiderivative with respect to x of x times e to the negative 2x. Now, the formula, remember, is that our antiderivative of f times g prime is f times g minus the antiderivative of f prime g. When dealing with an integrand of the form x times something that we know how to anti-differentiate, we should always set f equal to the x raised to the power, and then g prime is then whatever is left over. In this case, e to the negative 2x. When I multiply these two back together, I return my original integrand. Once we know f and g prime, all we do is calculate f prime and g. To calculate f prime from f, we differentiate. The derivative of x is just 1. To find g given g prime, we anti-differentiate. If g prime is e to the minus 2x, then g is just going to be, well, e to the minus 2x. But remember, when we differentiate this, we bring down a negative 2. And so we're going to compensate for that in the antiderivative by dividing by negative 2. So now that we have our f, f prime, g, and g prime, we can just go ahead and apply the formula. The antiderivative with respect to x of f times g prime, also known as x times e to the negative 2x, is equal to f times g, which is x times negative 1 half e to the minus 2x, minus the antiderivative of f prime times g. So minus the antiderivative with respect to x of f prime, which is 1, times g, which is e to the negative 2x over negative 2. After doing integration by parts, we turned a problem that had an x into it into a new anti-differentiation problem where the x has gone away. If I simplify this first thing to be minus 1 half x e to the minus 2x, now I'm left with, again, finding the antiderivative of e to the negative 2x. And again, when I anti-differentiate, I'm just going to get my e to the negative 2x, but I have to divide by an extra factor of negative 2. So I end up with e to the negative 2x. I had one negative 2 there to start, and I'm going to bring down another factor of negative 2. So I have negative 1 half x e to the negative 2x minus e to the negative 2x over 4. Now you can see that both of these terms contain an e to the negative 2x. So some people like to factor out that e to the negative 2x in their answer. We can factor out more than that. We can actually factor out a negative 1 fourth e to the negative 2x. And what's going to be left is when I factor 1 fourth out of 1 half, I get 2x. And here, I just get 1. And so our antiderivative is going to be negative 1 fourth e to the negative 2x 
times 2x plus 1. Now if I'd had to anti-differentiate x squared times e to the negative 2x, I'd have had to use integration by parts twice. In general, the number of times that you're going to have to use integration by parts equals the power to which x is going to be raised. 